I'm going to show you how to use a slow speed hand piece to sharpen your instrument. So this is a special attachment with a sharpening stone on it. You can buy them from any of your distributors um, online and you can get different, if you have a particular stone you like, you can get the stone you like, different grits. Um, this one just happens to be Hugh Freedy, but all the brands make them. So what you do is you just put lots of pressure in your slow speed hand piece and that'll just snap in place and it's ready to use. So you're gonna use the rheostat. So what you wanna make sure you do is make sure both of your hands have a fulcrum. So you're doing this over your tray or your table or something. We don't wanna just be free floating in the air because you tend to slip. So make sure you have two fulcrums. When you do this, make sure your face is parallel to the floor because we're gonna be sharpening the face of the instrument. If we tend to be leaning to the sides, it's gonna be cutting one side different than the other. So we didn't need it nice and parallel to the table. So I'm going to hold the instrument in my non-dominant hand and I'm going to hold my hand piece in a grasp hold. Low, low, low speed, the slowest you can. And you're just going to put pressure right on the face of your instrument. Okay, just a couple good strokes. And then you're going to want to test with your test stick, same as you would your other instrument. If you notice on your white sharpening stones, you're getting the gray streaks. How to prevent that is you just submerse it in water for one minute before you start sharpening. Honestly though, the gray streaks aren't going to hurt the integrity of the stone. It's just to help with the aesthetics of it.